Привет, друзья! Сегодня я решил связаться с Александром Деда Фария для того, чтобы задать ему несколько вопросов о предстоящем чемпионате Moscow International Pro в разрезе с ситуацией с коронавирусом в мире и в Москве в частности. Сразу предупрежу, что моменты, в которых я буду криво формулировать свои вопросы на английском языке, я буду вырезать, и вы в итоге получите исключительно чистую картинку, где я якобы задаю вопрос на русском, а Александр Фария якобы понимает и отвечает на английском. Приветствую, Александр. Сори, что отвлекаем. Есть несколько вопросов, и если позволяет время, мы бы задали их вот так э, на расстоянии. Hello everyone from BGJ Freaks. It's very nice to be with you guys again and also with your audience. Все эти вопросы так или иначе будут связаны с предстоящим турниром, с коронавирусом, с угрозой отмены турнира. Надеюсь, что здесь нет никакой секретной информации. И первый вопрос, который я хотел бы задать. Как вы думаете, повлияет ли ситуация с вирусом на количество участников на турнире? Вообще, на данный момент, оказывает ли ситуация с вирусом влияние на количество регистраций. But um, I also think it's going to affect somehow the participants in uh, Grand Slam in June because still many people come from other countries and we still don't know what will be the outcome of the virus progress in Russia. It, uh, yes, it has affected a little because we already had a few people that uh, from, from our social networks and from the questions People that say, I will not register for this one, I'm going to wait a bit. And also some people that uh, ask it for refund, for cancellations. But at the same time, every day there are new people registering. So it's, there is a balance. So yes, it will affect definitely the number of, uh, of registrations. It's going to be a big competition. But if there was not the virus and this, all this uh, big problem, health problem, ну вот вы выступали в качестве соорганизатора лондонского Гранд Слэм. Там, в Лондоне, насколько серьезное влияние оказывал вирус на прохождение чемпионата? Yes, in, in Grand Slam in, uh, in London we had to close it to the public and uh, a few athletes from different parts of the world they, they didn't come, so there were a few fights with WO. Uh, and uh, as we close to the public, because there was this, the live streaming, the same way we're gonna have live streaming this one in Moscow. So it was less people on the tribune, it was, it was uh, controlled so that we had maximum 1,000 people per day in the venue. Uh, plus the athletes, also it affected in a way that we changed the area where they would do warm up. Usually it was a small, uh, a closed room behind the, 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 in the backstage, but this time it was in a much uh, wider and open uh, area to avoid any kind of confinement. And uh, we had to distribute uh, bracelets for the athletes and also for their guests, because every athlete could bring either one trainer or one guest so that we could limit the number. As it was two days and maximum 600 participants, 300 in each day, then it was not hard to, to settle. Окей, okay. а есть ли вероятность того, что турнир в Москве будет отменен или как-то ограничен? Ну, может быть, он так же, как в Лондоне, пройдет за закрытыми дверями без допуска, без свободного допуска зрителей и болельщиков? Well, we know the, the measures from the government, the law, the decree that was set for now. Now the events in Moscow can have up to 5,000 people and uh, that's what we have uh, as a parameter. Of course, that in BJJ tournaments we don't have such a number of people in Moscow yet. One day we'll have, but now we don't have. So, so far we feed uh, the decree. We don't have any problem. But we know that this can change any time and we are already considering all options. 
if it changes for 1,000 people a day, then we're going to restrict the number of people who will come with bracelets, then we're going to restrict the trainers who will come, maybe one parent for, per kid. But uh, we already have a plan, and this plan is going to be adjusted according to any other new decision that can be taken until then. And uh, if by any means uh, we have a, a, a canceling of all events until the date of the event, then we postpone the event and everybody who is registered is already registered. They don't lose their registration. Uh, we continue with registrations until we have the new date. Uh, we have a few ideas, but we don't want even to think about this. We want to think one day at a time. So, so far, uh, the events are up to 5,000 people in Moscow. And uh, so our event doesn't run any risks. But uh, we are ready. If this is reduced to 1,000, if this is reduced to 300, it's still to have the event anyway. We are just going to, ad we are just going to adjust in terms of the public, the trainers, the, the, the guests who will come, if it's going to be open doors, if it's going to be closed doors because the show mainly is for the athletes to participate, to have the experience. But uh, these we're going to check day by day until the day of the event and we are going to act according to, to have the best competition possible, independent of, of, the, of the measures that the authorities think that they are suitable. Окей, okay, а что вы порекомендовали в качестве дополнительных мер безопасности? Well, first of all, if uh, any of the participants or anybody who, who is with them have any kind of symptom, even of a cold, like a runny nose or headache or fever or sneezing, coughing, that don't even come to the event, this is the first thing, this is very important. Um, other security measures that we recommend to people is that they bring their, their alcohol and they clean their hands regularly and, um, and wash their hands regularly during the events because they see friends all the time. If they see that anybody's coughing uh, to do not stay less than two meters from this person and even tell this person, hey man, you cannot be here. Uh, there are too many people, it's better if you leave. So anybody who is sick uh, or who looks sick, I think that should not come. And uh, even if it's a simple cold, even if uh, they are sure that they didn't have any contact with somebody contaminated from Corona, because this is not something that we can uh, facilitate. We have to be uh, very careful about it. Хорошо, тогда и такой вопрос. Будут ли предприняты какие-то дополнительные меры безопасности со стороны организаторов турнира, ну, с вашей стороны? Yes, uh, independent of uh, the measures for the number of spectator, uh, spectators or the number of athletes participating that come in these days until the event, we will take some measures. Of course, these measures, they don't avoid uh, 100%, but they help. So one of the measures is that everybody that entered the venue will have their temperature checked. We're going to have uh, infrared uh, pistols to check the, 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 the temperature so we don't need to touch the person. The person comes, we check the temperature and the person moves because sometimes the person has fever and doesn't even know. And uh, we will, this will help uh, people feel safer. And even if we identify one person that is above the temperature and this person are asked to look for, for a doctor. Uh, so this is one of the measures. Other measure that we plan to take for sure is to leave in every uh, tatami before they enter the fight. They're going to clean their hands with alcohol. And in the case of kids, they're going to clean their hands before they go and after they come from the fight because they go to the warm up area and they, they can use the hands on the face or something like this. Of course that these measures are just uh, palliatives, they are just like to help. But um, in terms of uh, controlling numbers of uh, participants or numbers, number of people who will come to the event, this will depend on the following days, the development of the virus in the country because Russia has been doing a good job so far. Today, Saturday, we have 45 cases, 18 in Moscow, 
and uh, compared to other countries, uh, Moscow and Russia is controlling uh, the disease very well. But it's still, it's going to spread, it's going to grow. Uh, people know because it's a virus, but the most important is that everybody is aware of what to do. Don't panic, and because panic, uh, if everybody runs to the public system of health, then there is a collapse. And uh, the information is the main, main, main weapon, I think. So we have these measures. There is the control of the temperature of who enters and the alcohol for the fighters, even kids, before and after the fights. We're going to provide this uh, on the, the mats. Uh, also the referees, so that we can uh, make smaller the chance of any kind of con contamination and so on. Okay, спасибо. На сегодня у нас вопросы закончились. Остаемся на связи и бог даст увидимся на чемпионате. Спасибо. Опа, будь здоров.